hey all i don't feel like editing this video so i'm just gonna record this with my phone this is basically the wanted minigame from uh, super mario 64 ds and uh, i was inspired by this video by distracted coder and this video by code noodles where they use image recognition to uh, well, basically make uh, make a bot that plays the game for them. Uh, and so what Code Nulls does is first look for a whole image, and if uh, they can't find a whole image, they kind of split it up into more and try to find a sub-image of it. Uh, and that kind of works. It got them to somewhere above 100. Uh, distracted Coder takes some very strategic points uh, and uses image recognition with those. Uh, and that got them to 135, I believe. And I was like, oh, I can do that. I think I have a better way of doing it. So what I do is I take the icons and then I reduce the colors of them. So now there's only six, each pixel can be assigned a value from zero to 64, basically, based on what color they are. Uh, and I used to, uh, I let there be more reds than greens and basically no blue. It might look like there's blue, but all blue is actually removed because it turned out blue was not very important. Uh, and then I make this lookup texture where each two times two uh, pixels, so let's say there's like, I don't know, uh, here, right? So you see there's green here, right? Oh, there's green, and then there's another type of green, and then there's uh, another type of green, and then there's the second type of green again. This can be given a value, or this 2x2 thing, each of these is 64, and then if you multi multiply them together, you get uh, 4096 times 4096, right? Uh, which is exactly how big this texture is. So each possible combination of uh, text pixels can, uh, will be some something in this. And let's see. Yeah, and then the white color in this texture is which character it is. So we can character, you can see here, each one has a different shade because this is what it detects. And as you see, Yoshi is very easy to detect, the rest of them not as much. Uh, and as long as this pixel and the three around it are visible, it will be able to find it. Uh, and why this is faster than using regular image recognition is because uh, you can basically per pixel just check one pixel and the ones around it, and that's super, super quick. Uh, and then look it up, which is super, super quick. And that accumulated in this. Uh, first, I used Python just as a test, which was slow, obviously. So instead, I wrote a bishawk plugin, which uh, every frame just uh, runs this code. Now, Technically, it does wait for it to finish, which is a little bit cheaty, but as you can see, if we don't have the troll on, it still goes way, way faster. It goes way, way faster than 60 FPS, so I'm not really cheating. And yeah, it basically finds a bunch of information, like if it's not moving, uh, how, it's, how it's moving, uh, and how much of it is visible, and it tries to like, make completely sure that it's actually watching it, so over multiple frames. Uh, and if it's moving, it tries to kind of predict where it's going to move to, because you're actually a little bit behind whenever you click. Uh, and I think that's actually what got it on a few of the other ones. Uh, or at least on the Code Noodles one, it lost, I think, because it didn't properly predict. Uh, but yeah, mine does. Uh, it just gets the video buffer. Uh, checks very quickly, checks every single pixel, and then uh, does some logic to find out if it should tap and where it should tap, and then just taps it. Uh, this part could technically be run in a shader to make it even faster, but I couldn't figure out how to do that properly within Bishawk's API thing, and this runs, as I said earlier, super fast already. And yeah, I got it up to 99999 earlier, uh, but I didn't record it, so I think I'm, I'm planning on trying to do a short stream, uh, like a stream in the short format, because I haven't tried it before, to see if it can get there. I did fix a bug, which ended up actually making it lose a few times, as in the, it worked well before I fixed the bug, and then it stopped for, uh, working, 
Um, but I think I somehow fixed that again. So who knows? Yeah. Uh, see y'all, I guess, at the stream if y'all are interested. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.